Hi, this is Jen with Jen's Ink Spot, and I wanted to share a tip with you today. Lil Inker Designs is having a new release, and a lot of the dies that are being released have a lot of little holes in them. This is the new dual dotted squares, and it's a really cool die. It's, it cuts in the middle, but it punches out the little circles on the outside of the die and on the inside of the die, which means that you have lots of little pieces left to get out. So I want to show you a quick and easy tip on how you can get those little pieces out of your die. And then also, in the same way, this is another die that's being released. This is the Cover Up Die Eyelet. And after you die cut with this, there's a lot of little pieces left inside the cardstock piece that need to be punched out. And that can get frustrating and time consuming. So I want to show you an easy way, it's almost a fun way, to get these little pieces out of your dies and die cut cardstock. First up, here is one of the dies that I just recently used. You can see that it has some of the cardstock circles that are still stuck in the die. So what I'm going to use is this tool by Spellbinders. It's called Tool in One. And it has this little piece on the end. And it also has a pointed piece. And so all you do is you take this and rub it over your die. And all of those little circles just come out like that. So now you have... A clean die and all of your little pieces are here on your mat so that's an easy way to get your piece your cardstock pieces out of your die now I want to show you an easy way to get them out of your cardstock so here's one that I've cut with the cover-up die eyelet that I showed you a few minutes ago and I didn't even try to get these out I was trying to leave as many as possible in if I were just to play with this there would be more that would just come out on their own but I'm gonna use this same tool to get the pieces out of this so the key to this is you need something soft and foamy that has some give to it this is an old mouse pad that I had laying around and it works really really well what I found that works even better than that is a piece of packing foam that you can buy at like office supply stores. This came in some package that I had ordered and I held on to it. A lot of the old colossal dies you use this to cut on. And if you have that lying around your house somewhere in your stash, it's perfect for this, for using this tool with. So what you want to do is turn your die cut cardstock piece to the back side. I found that it is a lot easier to get these pieces out when you work from the back side. You just take your little roller and you're going to roll it over this foam on the back side of your cardstock and these little babies just start coming out. It is really kind of fun. And that took me all of just a few seconds to do. Now if there's some pieces that you don't get out when you roll the brush over it there's another end to this little tool and it has a pointy end so you can just take that end and start poking out the pieces that are still stuck and if you want to if they don't come completely off you could roll you can roll this again but there you have it so now you have a couple little couple more little pieces. There you have a clean die cut ready to go on a card front with all of your little pieces out. Very, very simple. This is great to use with these new dies. So don't be afraid of all the little die cut pieces and all the little holes. If you have this tool, it's a breeze. Thank you for joining me at Jen's Ink Spot.